Hello everybody and welcome to Balatra. This is a game people have been asking me to play for a little while now. It's been out a couple of weeks and doing the rounds on the roguelike scene on YouTube. And yeah, it's this really interesting poker roguelike. I really didn't think it was going to be my sort of game because I've never really played card games or poker. But everyone keeps telling me to play it and I did a few rounds just to practice and it's pretty fun. I like it. So I thought why not give it a go, bring it to the channel and see what you guys think. And apparently it has a pretty interesting modding scene as well, which we can always dive into down down the line but yeah I guess um first things let's just dive into our run and, and see how we go here so we've got these different decks I don't really know how exactly I want to uh play this I, I think I'd rather have plus one hand each round than plus one discard I don't know um plus one hand seems super useful and we've got the different difficulties we'll stick with that for now and we'll just go in click play also let me know if i need to tweak the audio settings and stuff but yeah it's gonna be a little hard to describe how this is played to people that don't know poker but then again i didn't know poker either so it's not super hard to pick up basically we've got to do these things here this is sort of like the easy fight hard fight boss fight kind of thing uh so we'll select since going to the small blind here and essentially, we've got to make up 300 chips out of these different cards that we get here. And it's essentially poker rules. You've got different hands that you can get that get you different amount of chips. Uh, and then later down the line, with it being a roguelike, there's different multipliers and things you can get. Um, but yeah, it, it's, it's, it can be a little, a little bit of a difficult game if you don't know. But luckily, it tells you here what sort of thing you're going to get here. So, for example, we've got a pair here. We get uh, 20 off the back of that. It's not a lot. Um... We've got six, seven, eight. We we could throw a few away and see if we can get some good stuff here. Um, go with some discards and see what we can get. But yeah, I don't know how this first run will end up going. Um, I think I'm going to go for... Hmm. I've got three of these. I could go for two more. I'm going to gamble here and discard these three. Um, that didn't work out in my favor at all, really. 7, 8, 9, 10. Okay. Yeah, Ace unfortunately doesn't do anything for us here. We do have a pair of Aces though, so I guess we'll play that. I should have played both of them at the same time, really. That was a bit of a misplay. I could have played my Kings as well. Eh, whatever. I'm, I'm still learning. 7, 8, 9, 10. Does this count as 11? Yes, it does. Okay. So that's a straight. This is definitely one of the better ones you can get. And as you can see, we'll get 30 times 4 as a base. And then everything will get added onto here with the cards we have. So now we get a 74 times 4, which will pretty much put us above 300 straight off the bat. So sometimes in the early uh, stages, you can get really lucky. And then as you, as you can see here, we have a bit of money. We get a bit more money back for how well we played in that one, how many uh, remaining hands we had. We can cash out. At the end, we get these shops here. And these Joker cards are really, from what I've seen, the things that make the game. Uh, these have some really interesting abilities. So played cards with even rank give four times molt when scored okay that's pretty interesting so multiplies is this bit here uh, and then we've also got played aces give plus 20 chips and a four multiply when scored that's pretty good as well honestly i think i'm gonna buy both of those and they both seem pretty good played cards um with even rank give four multiply when scored okay i'm interested in that we're not got enough money to do anything else here so we can go to the next round we can also get different cards in our deck as well which is pretty cool I like the idea of that. We can jump on in. Now I've got to get 450. And we'll see what sort of hand we've got. So first of all, let's look at our suits. We've got four of these. Not quite enough for a... Is it a flush that's called? I don't remember what that's called. Is it full house? Straight flush. No, that's straight flush. Okay. Uh, yeah, it's going to take me a while to get used to these. Um, but we do have double king and double queen here, which is reasonably okay it's not the best i could i, I probably should should have just discarded well there you go 120 is not bad off the bat there and there's our aces played aces gives extra chips and multiply when scored so i think what i'm gonna do here is i'm gonna go for a bit of a risky play and i'm gonna discard these three here and then there you go look we get a flush here. And we'll get a multiplier from our ace. There you go. So we get extra chips and we get that multiplier. So this is a really, really nice card here. Then this gives us a multiplier as well. And this, and then just look look at how crazy that's gotten. Look at how crazy that's gotten. 
It's mental. The game can really... Uh, people were saying to me, this is kind of like how you can break Isaac. This game has that sort of feeling to it. And I definitely agree. Level up straight, um, that's pretty good. We'll, um, we'll buy and use that straight away. So that means our straight now has an extra multiplier on it and bonus chips off of the bat. Really, really nice. Um, ooh, interesting. So I've got, have I got to time this or is it just... Oh no, it's just, it just random all the time, okay. Uh, I do have some card decks here as well to add more cards, but I'm not going to do that for now, I don't have the money. I'm interested in that, so that could just add a random great multiplier. And here, discard two random cards uh, per hand played, okay. This could be tricky. Let's have a look-see. I mean, off the bat here, we've got something pretty good. I think I'm going to go for a discard on... I mean, three of a kind there is pretty good. But I think I'm going to go for a discard on... I'm going to discard three of these. It's a little risky, but I think I'm going to go for it. Ah, didn't work out in my favour, really. Got three of these. And I might just discard again. I know discarding is kind of risky, but I'd like to get a flush here because that would be very useful with what we've got going on there. Honestly, just discard all of these and hope for the best. Yeah, there you go. Three, two, three, four, six. I think, actually, get rid of the three. So, two, four, six for my um, for my even Steven here. Queen and then ace. And then the ace, obviously, is this here. Th this should do 601 in one turn, this. This should be mega. So we get the bonus. We get that. Another bonus, another bonus, another bonus, and then what's this going to give us? <laughs> yeah, there you go. Nice and easy. <laughs> yeah, it seems the early game you can really break wide open. So we got a lot of extra money there because we had a lot of hands remaining. So nice cash out there, and we can actually do some stuff here. So I think we can only have four jokers at once, uh, or is it five? It might, it might be five. Um, adds double the rank of the lowest rank card held in hand to mult. Adds double the rank of the lowest ranked card held in hand to mult. Interesting. Adds the number of times... Adds the number of times poker hand has been played this run to mult. That's kind of interesting. I think I'm going to go for... I might even go for both of those, to be honest. Yeah, let's go for both of those for now. Um, I think they're, they're both pretty good. A anything that's going to add to our mult is going to be good. Also, as well, we can skip these as well. If we feel confident that we can go straight to the next one, we can gain abilities by skipping. So, choose um, two of up to five tarot cards to be immediately used. Gives a free a Mega um, Arcana pack. Yeah, let's do that. Let's skip that. We get the Mega Arcana pack here. And we get two of these to, um, to use straight away. So, it doubles our money. Obviously, not very useful right now. Enhances two selected cards. Um, one selected card into a steel card. Um, so, I'm, I'm going to do this, and I'm going to go with our aces here, because our aces are obviously pretty useful. Good old hero font there. And again, somewhat Isaac related. So, we got them, and then enhances one selected card into a steel series. I'm going to go with that one. And double upgrade that. Oh, wait, does that overwrite my other upgrade? It might, that might have overwritten my other upgrade, which is a shame if that's the case. I didn't know you couldn't have more than one. Um, yeah, I think, it, I think it overwrit it, which, yeah, definitely a shame. Let's have a look at our suit here. We've got three of a kind there, and we got three of a kind there. But nothing really great here. Um, this is kind of pants, to be honest. Let's go and discard... Hmm. Discard these ones. We've got, again, three there. This is pretty rough, to be honest. Pretty rough. Honestly, just discard all of those. Discards are definitely risky, but seems to work out for me most of the time. <sighs> <laughs> I'm going deep here. I'm going deep. There you go. That's what we're looking for, baby. That's what we're looking for. <laughs> yeah, baby. That's that's what we're looking at right there. 
Okay. You gotta, you gotta play a bit risky. I mean, that's poker for you. you it's, it's all about risk-reward management, but that works out pretty darn well for us. Um, containing a pair, that's pretty good. Ooh, level up two pair. Um, I will use that. I like the, um, the, the, the ones that permanently level up your, uh, different multipliers. It's really nice. Um, and then we've got six left. Let's go with a, a standard pack and see if we can add some cool cards to our deck. Right, what we got going on here? Um, Retrigger this card one time. A uh, plus two chips if it's held in our hand. Um, ooh, foil is plus 50. Wow. That could be good. I think I'm going to go for just this one, though. Just because it's in the um, diamond deck and... That seems to be doing well for us so far. So this one, first hand drawn is face down. I don't know how that's going to work. I've not seen that before, but we'll uh, we'll see, I guess. So what exactly do I do here? Do I, do I waste a hand? I guess so. Let's just waste a hand and see if we'll see what we get here. Yeah, not, <laughs> not good. I mean... Honestly, not awful. Not good, though. That, that was, yeah, that was kind of sketchy. Oh, they stay face down? Okay. Let's, um... Let's discard all of these. And... Honestly, discard all of them as well. There you go, baby. Always playing for the flushes. Flushes seem to be the best for me, especially diamond flushes. Unfortunately, we don't have our uh, ace in here, so it's not going to be quite as crazy. But this will still be pretty good. I mean, we're up to 20 mil already. 37, 41. Like, it's pretty good stuff. Pretty good stuff. And this ups the ante as well when we beat these bosses. I'm not exactly sure what the ante does. Uh, I think that's just, like, difficulty for the next stage. Okay, eight. Not bad. Okay, two new jokers. This joker gains plus four chips if... Played hand is exactly four cards. Plus 15 mul. One in 16 chance the cards destroyed. At, uh, one in six chance the cards destroyed at the end of the round. Ooh, that's kind of spicy. But honestly, I'm really, really happy with. Um, I'm really happy with what we've got going on right now. Uh, tarot cards appear twice more frequently in the shop. Let's let's go with that. These are permanent upgrades. They just affect us for the rest of the run. Uh, so they're pretty valuable, but they are some of the most expensive things. I should be really saving up for them more often. Um. Rerolls the next shop starting at zero. Uh, and I'm just going to do this. 2,000 is, is baby baby amounts for us, really. Um, I'll keep the ace. Let's guard the rest. Okay, not, not ideal. Not ideal. I'll just play this hand, though. I don't want to discard too much more. It's it's not it's not the best, but it'll do. I mean, there you go. Like that was, I literally played two aces and one. <laughs> you can get away with a lot in this game by the looks of it. It's very addictive. This one, very addictive. I'm really interested to see what the modding scene looks like. I've heard it's good. Um, ten mul if it contains a two um a two pair. Okay. 100 chips if played hand is a three of a kind. Neither of those are really what we need right now. Um, I'm going to save my money for now and try and get the um, the next voucher. I guess that's what the anti-up does, right? It restores this. We'll save some money here. Um, shop has a free uncommon joker. Honestly, we don't really need jokers, so I'm not going to stop. I've got really good jokers right now. Um... Okay, discard those. There you go. Two, six, seven, eight. Well, we might as well get rid of seven, put in that, shall we? There you go. Again, flush is always the way to go for us here. Just the multipliers go so crazy on it. Or can go so crazy, at least. I mean, 48. There you go. One undone. We're just getting a flush every turn. It's the best way to play this game right now for the deck that we've got. Especially um, with the Scholar and the Even Steven going on. There you go. Good money now. Creates a tarot card if poker hand contains an ace and a straight. Interesting. Um, 
Level up full house. Which one's full house again? Which one's full house? Full house is... A three of a kind and a pair. We don't really go for that that often, so that's not super useful. Um, I'm not going to spend my money on that for now. I'm just going to keep with the money that I have. Um, and go for the boss. All club cards are debuffed. Okay, debuffed basically just means that they don't give you rewards. It can be a little annoying, but most of the time isn't that bad. Um, let's get rid of these three. Hmm... Why is this, uh, why is this debuffed? I don't know why that's debuffed, but it's going to give us a flush anyway, so it's just not, we're not going to get the actual chips from it. But I don't know why that's debuffed. This will still be decent, though. But this wasn't a, a straight up winning hand there. Oh, this is... We've put ourselves in a rough spot by using our uh, discards early here, which isn't ideal. Um, I mean, these the debuffs here are, are really rough. Honestly, just 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 discard everything, <laughs> get rid of it all. Um, I'm gonna go for this because these are all um, these are all evens. It's not the best way to play here. But, it might get us enough. Nah, not even close. Okay. Uh, damn, it's been rough. We don't have any discards left here either. Pair of aces there, that's kind of nice. Guess I'll just throw that in the mix as well, why not? I don't even get the molt from it, yeah. There you go. We beat it, but only just. That was a rough one, that. That was a rough one. But we got there in the end. We got a good amount of money here as well. Really good amount of money. Okay. Plus one card slot available in the shop. I'll just buy that outright. Because um, we've got the money. Why not? Good old overstock. Um, high card. Level up high card. What's high card again? High card. Um, if the player, if the played hand is not any of the above, um, oh, okay, I see. I mean, that's, that's, that's decent enough, I think, by a new straight away. Like, why not? We're not going to use high card very often, but, um, and... Let's use a tarot card immediately here. Enhance two selected cards to bonus cards with extra chips. Increase the rank of up to two cards. Uh, uh, up to two selected cards by one. What does increasing their rank actually do? I don't know. Uh, enhance one card into a golden card. I think golden card is at the end of the round we gain money. I'm going to go with this and upgrade, like, I don't know, this. See what happens. I, I, I genuinely don't know what that did for us. I'm unsure. Okay. Reroll the boss bind. All face down. All face cards are drawn face down. Oh, yeah. I'm definitely going to skip the bind there and reroll that. Because that looks gross. Play only one hand. Okay, I've just killed myself. <laughs> I've just killed myself. That's going to be... 5,000 in one hand is going to be super difficult. I think I've just killed myself. Okay, let's go for this. I mean, even this is going to be rough. 7,500 is going to be rough, but... I'll I'll roll with it and see what we can get. Um, let's discard these. Ooh, lovely stuff. Okay. That should be pretty spicy. That that won't get us 7,500, I don't think, but it'll get us a good a good amount of the ways there. That mold didn't go as high as I was hoping. Wasn't bad, though. Wasn't bad. Um, let's... 
I'm going to try that because then it goes from highest. High card. We've got an upgraded high card. These are all even. So we get high multiplier. That wasn't... That wasn't very good at all. Ooh, hello there. Another flush there. Oh, I should have put the ace in that flush there. That was silly of me. Wasn't paying enough attention. Ah, plus one molt from that there. There you go, though. We're very, very nearly there now. Let's just play that. We can speed this up as well. There is speed settings, but I thought to start out, let's not go for that. Yeah, this, this next one, I don't know how we're going to beat this. I don't think I can skip it either. Um, all cards are considered faces. It's kind of interesting. Two random planet cards, yes please. Our two pair goes up to level three. And what's Mars? Four of a kind. I mean, we don't really get many four of a kinds, but if we do, it'd be useful. Right. Yeah, there's no way to, uh, to skip this, so play only one hand. That's just almost impossible. We've, we, we've basically just got to use our discards to get 5,000 in one go, which is going to be pretty rough. Um... Okay, let's play around hearts for now, shall we? Come on, hearts. Do you know what? I'll just shove an ace. And that's only high card, though. Really? Okay. I'm probably fucked here, aren't I? Oh, come on. Where's my heart cards? I'm dead. Fuck it, just play the hand and see what happens. But I'm pretty much dead here. This, this is rough. Play only one hand and get 5,000. Ain't happening, bud. <laughs> yeah. So that was unfortunate. That is our first run. Um, looks like we found out the real Joker is. Ah, oh, how dare you. Um, but yeah, that's, that's going to be our first run. Not the best, but I think we started pretty strong. We just... I. I gambled on the fucking re-rolling the, um, the last one there. I shouldn't. The needle, whatever this one's called. Man. Uh, that's got to kill so many runs, right? Like, you either have to have a ton of discards uh, ready, or get really lucky with your draws. Either way, um, I hope you guys did enjoy this. I will be doing more. I know this was a short episode, but yes, I will be doing more if people enjoy it. And yeah, hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys in the next one.